Hello everyone, Crystal here from Galaxy Finds. I'm a full-time reseller, mainly on Poshmark and also on Depop and Etsy. And I have a haul for you today. I actually have the rest of the haul from my last video, but I took out all the vintage pieces for the last one. But I do have some really fun things and I'd like to share them with you. Um, I'm going to start with the shoes. I only have two pairs of shoes. So I grabbed these tahari sandals just because i really like this color it's like um that's a blue but it's like a different color blue like i don't know it's not a color that i see often and it's just this like a little chunky heel they look like they're in really great shape um i don't often pick up tahari but they were cute and i think what size they are i'll have to look later Anyway, and I also picked up these camper shoes. I've never picked up camper before. That's why I grabbed them, even though they're obviously an older style. But they have this ribbon that, like, ties up the ankle. I think they're kind of small. They're, I think they're a six or something. They're size 36 camper. So, yeah, those are my shoes. I picked up this yellow maxi dress it um it's this brand Ruli which I think is a um, boutique brand but I honestly can never say no to a yellow dress like I love yellow dresses and the button is missing here I didn't look if there was an extra inside there may be but yeah if this was my size I would have kept it but it is really pretty It'd be perfect for spring so you know we're already looking for spring things even though winter hasn't hit i got this knitted and knotted it's got this like knit top with this like accordion bottom which i thought was really unique the knitted and knotted tag is like this little charm it is a small it's from anthropology i got is free people we the free it's just like off shoulder kind of boxy sweater like i'll often pick up free people if it's cheap just because it's very easy to find like style names and stuff for it and it's very easy to list like anthropology and free people pretty much like their stuff is very easy to find like all the info you need online <laughs> so yeah just a pretty like salmon color I don't think it had a size, but who knows with three people this could be an extra small or an extra large, depending on what the style is. Okay, so I got this Bowden dress, and I do love Bowden, but I especially love this pattern. It was like very like a 60s, 70s feel. I think it's linen. It was a size US 8. Just like a little simple little dress gotta be linen let me see 100 linen yes so yeah very cute love the colors i got this older free people it's a little like mini dress floral um it's just a stretchy comfortable dress with a little ruffle hem sort of i probably won't be able to find much info on an older free people piece but it's cute I, I grabbed this top because i just loved the print on it it is a linen loft top yeah i just love this print like this bold floral so pretty um it has like these little cap sleeves yeah if this was my size i probably would have kept that too Probably lucky it's not my size because I don't need any more clothes. This one may look familiar to you. <laughs> I am wearing the same thing. <laughs> so I got two of these. They're by Umji. Uh, it was they were both new with tags. The one I'm wearing is large. This one's a medium, but it is very like oversized. It's like it can be worn as a dress, but I'm wearing it with leggings just because it's cold. But it's very cute. It's like I would say it's cottage core, but the colors are more vibrant than cottage core 
really is, but um, there's this girl that I watch, uh, Haley's Thrift Haul, and she shops for cottage core stuff, and she says, um, my cottage, my rules, or something like that, so like, yeah, I can call this cottage core if I want, I'm gonna wear it in my cottage. Yeah. So, I love this dress. It gives me, like, Japanese schoolgirl vibes. I have no idea what it is. It is, like, the pleated on the bottom, but it's, like, long. It's, like, a midi style. So, and it's, it's big, but it says it's a one size. I've never heard of this brand. Do E Heart. Not sure if it's just some, like, random brand or if it's something popular in other countries, but this one size fits all in it. I would say it's probably, like, a large. Oh. It's very interesting. I really like it, though. It could be a cool, like, um, cosplay dress or something. Let's see what I need for it. This is Equipment. Equipment is a very expensive brand. This does have some runs on the back. But I think it will still sell because it's like a plaid. I don't know. I think it would be good for fall or like a tank under it. It's silk, so. Uh, what are you? I think more free people. Show me your dad. Yeah, this one is complicated. <laughs> it has a lot of straps. Yeah, this is a FP1, free people one. So I think that means it's one size. I don't know, it's like a tunic strappy tunic floral ruffles and all that lovely stuff uh it's just rayon i don't know i have to I have to look this one up i don't really know how it's supposed to be all these straps this sweater is so soft like i can't oh so soft it's just by the limited, but it is nylon and angora rabbit hair, so that's why it's so soft. And that the print, like not the print, like the the knitting is just really, really pretty. I just love this sweater. I hope somebody loves it. <laughs> uh, okay, another yellow dress. We're shocked, right? This is by ASOS. It is a US 10. It's like a kind of like a drop waist. I don't know. It's lined inside, like up to like here. So it's got like this the lace is just open at the bottom. Now I think it's really pretty. I haven't looked up like anything about it though, so I don't really know how it's supposed to be worn. It kind of looks like boxy. So we'll see. This one I almost didn't get. It's Joa Soft. Soft by Joa. But it's a large and all the Joa that I usually find is like a small or extra small. So I was like, worst comes to worst, I can wear this. <laughs> it's just like a gauzy top. This like sort of mosaic print. It's, yeah, it's cute. Like Joa does sit for me and it is a very expensive brand in the store. I don't know why it doesn't sell, but who knows. This I was excited about. Elo Yoga. It is very strange. It's like a cropped hoodie with these like open sleeves. I don't know. I think it's cool looking. And I like Elo Yoga. So there's an Elo. It's like a grayish grayish blue sort of okay so this is old label cabbie which i don't usually pick up but look at this like it does definitely have some flaws but just i felt like the knitting on it was just oh this knitted floral so pretty and it's like um it's like an extra long sweater it's a small yeah it's a small but it 
kind of fits bigger than a small, I think. It fits a little bit oversized, but how pretty is this? I really liked it. And it's very thick. It's a uh, 80% wool, so. Okay. This was an exciting find. You can look at the print and like kind of even know what it is. Made in Italy. Missoni. Oh yeah. Look at that. Um Missoni Donna. Donna. I'm not I actually have not found that label, so I don't really know what that is. Um it is a US four according to this tag. I it's a linen cotton blend. It's really pretty. It's got it's got shoulder pads in it, but they're very light. It's these like rolled up sleeves. No, this is this is great. I really love this. Can't go wrong with Masumi, right? This is good old Madewell. I find so much Madewell and like Madewell has not been selling for me lately. Like I'll buy it if it's cheap enough. Which this was, so I was like, okay, it's a sweater and it's made well and it's size large, so those are all good things. And it's got this cute little fringe thing on the bottom. But yeah, has made well been sitting for any of you? Like, I even have like more recent pieces, like within the last year or two, that have like very little like interest in them. This one is from the spring of 2018, so this this is fairly new. I don't know, like. The stuff, like, Madewell is so expensive, and I price it very fairly, but I don't have a whole lot of interest. This sweater, I, I don't know what this brand is, but look at this, this open knit, like, these colors. It's twins, made in Italy. Has anybody ever seen that? I have not. It is acrylic and wool. I don't know, I feel like anything made in Italy is worth a second look. And it's a sweater. It's totally in season. Uh, let's see what I do. More made well. <laughs> I can't stop myself from picking it up though because I'm like, oh, made well, you know. Just a little skirt. I think it's silk. Silk blend lined yeah it's 40% silk 6% viscose I mean this one's an older piece it said 2014 but it's pretty classic just like a gray and black sort of color block skirt I don't know this is a brand that I found for the first time I think a lot of people looked it over like looked it by because it didn't look like anything special but it is Tea by Alexander Wang. First time ever finding that. It says it is a size small, but it's cool. Look at this little like twist in the front. <laughs> well, I guess that's like kind of the thing. It, tea by Alexander Wang. Does he only make t shirts by that line? I see. I don't know anything about this, and I am not like a really knowledgeable person about designer pieces. <laughs> I'm pretty much like middle of the road or vintage. So if you know anything about that brand, let me know. I found this J. Crew Factory. Factory, because it's got the little dots. Brand new with tags. Maxi chambray dress. Like, this is cute, right? Like, I can't go wrong with a maxi dress and chambray's in. So, and it's got pockets. You know, a lot of this stuff I think I would send to Thread Up, but Thread Up has not issued me a new label since July. And even when I inquired about it, they said like, oh well, we're we're backed up. Nothing we can do about it. So I have a ton of stuff that I would normally send to Thread Up that I've been listing. So yeah, I'm kind of frustrated because I probably could fill up like five boxes for Thread Up right now. But we'll see. What are you? Theory. Another brand that I don't always pick up, but just a cute little simple off shoulder like, chambray top. Uh, size large, too, so that's good. 
like this. I got this, I don't know if this is like a pajama top or just a regular top, but I really liked the print. I am kind of a sucker for a novelty print. It had these moths all over it and it had this cute little like clasp right there. It is a US size 6 and it's like very silky feeling, but I think it's probably polyester. That's, yeah. Um, yeah, polyester. Yeah, cute, right? Okay, I picked this one up thinking I might keep it. Like it's a size small, but it definitely runs large. It's called, it's by K Celine, which is something I've never picked up before. But once again, another cute novelty print with the little glasses all over it. I used to have a cardigan with glasses all over it that it reminds me of. Uh, this is a Weta Free top, just this ribbed like ruffle shoulder long sleeve top with the lettuce hem that's kind of in right now like the lettuce hem and the ribs so I grabbed that it's a size small this is Jay McLaughlin which is a very expensive brand I've only ever sold it once and I think I have one in my closet this is a large another ribbed sweater very soft uh, what are you made of cotton modal spandex yeah just basic piece but it's it's got these crisscross ribs another free people this was cute I liked the like embroidery on this it's long so it's like kind of a tunic it's a size small just got this like lacy part on the back it's floral I don't know if that I don't know if I'm seeing spots or something or if it's I don't know if this like came off on it in the wash or something but I'll have to look at it later <laughs> the bright lights like sometimes I feel like I'm seeing spots on things and there aren't spots this is just an L.L. Bean top I find a lot of L.L. Bean here because the outlet well it's made in Maine which is not that far from here um, just like a wrinkle free like Really just cute plaid top, the buttons, the pin tucking and all that. This, what are you, oh, I think Luca, I think Luca's anthropology. This is a jumpsuit. So this looks really pretty and then it has pockets and has these little buttons at the bottom yeah just a cute little jumpsuit size small and then one of my favorite things I saved for last I can figure it out here <laughs> it's got two pieces so it's kind of this is a Betsy Johnson dress it has um, it's like these velvet flowers and it's sheer and it has like a little slip underlay thing um, yeah, it doesn't have one of those snaps or anything to like hold it in place so I actually found the slip part first and I was like oh I wonder what that goes to and then I kept looking and I found the dress and I was like oh I know it's got this really long tie <laughs> like I don't know if this is just supposed to be a really long bow or if it's supposed to wrap around I don't know if I'll be able to find a stock photo because it's like older Betsy Johnson collection size zero but yeah it's got a little bit of like snagging in the front but I love Betsy Johnson she has the cutest stuff dresses purses jewelry oh I love it so much yes that is my haul I hope you enjoyed it um if you have any input for me let me know most of this is more current stuff and uh would you have picked up this stuff? Let me know. Have you sold any of these items or brands? Just leave me your feedback. Leave me a thumbs up if you liked it. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.